He's not the dragon. You are. The devil himself. Bound in the pit. In the penultimate episode of season three, after the horrifying attack on Will's family in last week's episode, where both Molly and Walter were extremely lucky to be alive, Francis Dollarhide now begins his endgame. But he's not the only one. As Dollarhide begins for the end, Will, Jack and the FBI are also looking to set up a trap. They know the connection between Will and Hannibal has gotten the dragon's attention. Heck, Dollarhide went after Will's family simply because Hannibal suggested it. So what do Will and Jack have in mind? The plan was to set up an interview with Freddy Lowndes nonetheless. Will was to viciously badmouth the Red Dragon using the Tattle Crime extract, knowing full well that the Dragon would be reading this interview once it had been published. But the problem was, as Alana said, it wasn't exactly subtle. It felt like a trap, and the Dragon would be able to sense that. So the solution? Bring in a professional to legitimise what Will was saying. Alana immediately took herself out of the equation, stating that only a fool would be willing to take part in such a risky plot. And with Alana ruled out, we all knew the perfect person who would be willing to fill the vacant role. Welcome back to Dr. Frederick Chilton, as he would openly agree to help out wherever he was needed. Will and Chilton teamed up for the interview, hoping that using key phrases such as an animal, a vicious, perverted, sexual failure, the Tooth Fairy, would enrage the dragon and bring him out of hiding. Would the plan that they've put together be successful in catching the Great Red Dragon, or would Dollarhide himself be alert to what was going on and strike at the heart of those who aim to stop him? Welcome to the top five moments of the episode, followed by the overall verdict. What's got your attention, Doctor? God, the devil, and the great red dragon? Lest we forget the lamb. With Hannibal clearly talking about Will as the lamb, he states to Jack that the day of the wrath of the lamb has come. The lamb is evolving into a lion, and his retribution will be even more deadly than the dragon's. Would Hannibal's prediction once again come to pass? The lamb is becoming a lion. For the great day of his wrath has come, and who shall be able to stand? Wood burns because it has the proper stuff in it, and a man becomes famous because he has the proper stuff in him. You don't have the proper stuff, Frederick. Hannibal continues to pull the strings even from inside his cell. Chilton was one of those people who lied on Hannibal's behalf to keep him alive. But even now, Hannibal's articles still refute Chilton's book. He is convinced, however, his new book will be a success. All he needs to finish it is its ending. Fate has a habit of not letting us choose our own endings, Frederick. Frederick, would you like to be in the photograph? One for the dust jacket. The plan that Will and Jack had was now in motion. Freddy was to interview Chilton as Will stood nearby to aggressively aggravate his words. It was done in hope of angering the dragon, to lure him into a trap. And with Will intended as the bait, everyone involved just had to hope that the dragon was reading and would take the bait. Would the dragon bite? Supermarket tabloids love Hannibal Lecter more than alien abductions. That is his demographic now. We know who his fans are. I'm going to tell you something. The most important thing that you will ever hear. As we cut back to Dollarhide, we see Reba tied up in the back of his van. And as Dollarhide brings Reba inside his home, you can clearly see he has just about reached his breaking point. 
and after being forceful to Reba about the answers to his questions, Dollarhide admits the truth about who he is. Red Dragon! I... The Dragon! Do you know who I am? No, no, I do not want to know. Believe me. After being captured by Dollarhide, Chilton was stuck to the chair as he wept and feared for what was to come next. And just as Dollarhide was beginning to force Chilton to look upon his face, Chilton, for the time being, was saved by the bell. Sadly, Chilton wasn't saved for long. The talk of love and passion that Reba explained gave hope that Dollarhide would be merciful and let Chilton go. But after Reba left, Dollarhide continued right from where he was interrupted. And after getting Chilton to confess his sins and admit that he wasn't the one to orchestrate the interview, Dollarhide knew only one way to help Chilton better understand. Fear is not what you owe me. <laughs> you owe me. Oh. My overall verdict for this week's episode of Hannibal is a fully earned 10 out of 10. In a visually barbaric and bloody penultimate episode, the Red Dragon's failure to kill Will's family last week and an attempted plan to lure the dragon in this week combined together and resulted in some extremely dire consequences. If you thought last week was suspenseful as Dollarhide crept around Will's house, then this episode was just full-on traumatising. I know that apparently towards the end of the season, even some of the filming crew were in shock by what they had just seen, and I don't think I have ever witnessed a scene in television like the segment between Chilton and Dollarhide, especially as it came to a close. Both actors were phenomenal, and it was as scary as it was gruesome. These are some of the moments which cement why Hannibal is one of the best TV shows ever made, as it continues to push the boundary between horror and intensity. One of the main aspects that was awesome about this episode, at least for me, is that Frederick Chilton is back. I mean, he's always been one of my favourite characters in the story. You'll know that by now if you've seen some of my previous reviews. And honestly, it's been a shame to see a lot less of Chilton that some people, including me, would have wanted. Alana's character has sort of taken over his role from what was in the books. That, of course, has given her a new and unique relationship with Hannibal, which has been fantastic to explore, especially in the past few episodes, but bringing Chilton back for more screen time is always a good thing. Magnified by Raul Esparza's performance, Chilton was essentially the main man this episode but not for the reasons one would have expected. The interview did indeed provoke and enrage the Red Dragon, but instead of him going after Will, which was the original and intended plan, Dollarhide targeted the other person that stood by him in the picture. You know, I think I remember reading somewhere in an interview with Brian Fuller where he was asked if the annual event of Chilton getting maimed, gutted or harmed in any way would continue in Season 3, and his answer was yes. He was opened up in Season 1 by Abel Gideon, then set up as the Chesapeake Ripper by Hannibal, and then shot in the face by Miriam Lass in Season 2. So what was next in store for the former head of the Baltimore State Hospital for the criminally insane? Turns out the answer to that question was much, much worse than anyone would have thought. What the f***? Chilton endured his lips getting bitten off by Dollarhide as he climbed over the furniture just like an animal, easily the what the f moment of the season so far. The visuals were bloody and graphic, and just like, well, actually, even more so than the face-off scene with Mason Verger last year. As the tension ranked up, Chilton honestly couldn't do much more. He tried to appease Dollarhide as much as he could. For a second, you even thought that Reba turning up and the mention of love could lead to Dollarhide actually letting him go, but... Who was I kidding? Dollarhide's torture of Chilton ended with a direct message to Will, 
as he burned the body and sent it rolling towards the fountain in the picture. I honestly thought at that moment, goodbye Chilton, you will be missed. But no, I was wrong. Not only did Brian Fuller follow through on his promise of Chilton going through one hell of an ordeal yet again this season, Chilton survived the event. I called Will Graham the toughest man alive a few weeks back, and I may now have to retract that statement because Frederick is giving him one hell of a run for his money. If we ever get a season 4, I wonder if what I'm going to now call the Chilton trend will indeed continue. But look at him. What more can be done now? Well, actually, I take that back. I hope that Brian never hears me say that, as I'm sure he will definitely be able to think of something. Now, I have to mention it. It only lasted a couple of seconds, but who caught the glimpse of Hannibal eating one of Chilton's lips? You would think by now that Alana would open up his mail, but their insistent belief that they are in control of the situation will be what leads to their downfall. And I may be reading too much into this, but as you know, Hannibal never wastes a scene. When Chilton threw his paper into Hannibal's cell, could that there be the key to his escape? It's a complete prediction. He may never even escape in the first place, but it's something that I think is just food for thought. Now moving on to Hannibal and Will. As we watched near the beginning of the episode, Will and Bedelia discussed how Hannibal truly feels about Will. Does he really love him? Does he want him to be his equal? And does Will feel the same? The whole show has been revolved around the unique relationship between the two of them, and I expect that to be a key factor in next week's season finale. As Hannibal stated, Will is the lamb, and the lamb's wrath touches everyone who heirs, his retribution is even more deadly than that of the dragons. And with Hannibal saying that the lamb is becoming a lion and that the day of the lamb's wrath has come, one can never doubt what Hannibal says. And with next week's episode titled as the wrath of the lamb and going along with Hannibal's predictions, who will be left standing after the season's end? Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the review. Continue to support Hannibal in any way you can, and I'll see you for Season 3's finale next week. Where's the other one? This one can provide you anything the other one can.